Hi, my name is Kirsten Flippo, and I'm a student at the University of Arkansas. Over the summer, I had the privilege of meeting Sergio Valdiva at the Second Friday Art Show, which occurs monthly in downtown Little Rock. Sergio is a warm and outgoing artist and dance instructor from Mexico. He says, if you meet me one day and see that my hands, arms, and legs are covered with paints, forgive me. I tend to get very involved in my artwork and having paint on me expresses the person I am. Some of his work includes Hummingbird, Karma, and The Golden Shadow. The set of three paintings that I will be discussing today is called Angelus Negros or Black Angels. Angelus Negros is very simply painted and the lines and brush strokes used to create the figures stand out. Some of the lines are left unfinished and feathered out by the bristles of the brush making the shapes open. This creates a sense of open mindedness and movement. The faces and bodies of the three angels are formed by thick, block-like black lines, while the wings and halos are done in thinner, rounder gold lines. The variation of the thickness in the line work in this painting creates contrast between the earthly and the divine. The angels themselves are conveyed to be strong and harsh while their divine halos and wings are dainty and delicate. This contrast between the earthly and the divine is furthered through the use of color and texture. While the human-like elements of the angels are painted in flat black paint, the divine elements are done in gold textured paint, which makes the halos and wings stand out on the canvas. Colors used in this painting also have contrasting meanings. Black is associated with strength, power, and authority, while the gold creates a sense of illumination, compassion, grandeur, and magic. Although these two colors create contrast between the earthly and the divine, they also work together to evoke the qualities of an angel who is both compassionate and strong. Now let's discuss the meaning of these paintings from an autobiographical point of view. Because Valdiva's heritage lies in Mexico, many of his pieces are inspired by this. He told me that his painting is titled after a film that he saw as a child living in Mexico called Angelitos Negros. The title song of the film was originally written as a poem by Andres Eloy Blanco and is now one of the most recited poems in Venezuelan history. Here are some of the lyrics that inspired the painting as sung by Eartha Kitt. Valdiva's experience as a Mexican immigrant living in the United States serves as an underlying text for these paintings. Traditional depictions of angels discriminate against anyone who is not white, and black angels are typically associated with hell or evil. Valdiva's angels aim to challenge this narrative because they are black but also clearly heavenly. He adds the golden halos and wings to emphasize this. They do not have horns or evil features but dainty, heavenly halos and wings. This reflects his desire as someone who is not Caucasian to see not only white people but other races in art. Angelus Negros is a contemporary piece of art because it's a dynamic piece that combines elements of naturalism and abstract art. Like abstract art, these paintings contain geometric shapes and markings, however the viewer can clearly see that the shapes make up fairly naturally shaped angels. In an abstract sense, the three paintings can be compared to Klein's Mahoning. Like Klein's painting, the focal point of Angelus Negros is made up of harsh black lines that do not attempt to hide the brush strokes of the artist. Angelus Negros also, like Klein's Mahoning, uses thick line work to create geometric shapes. In another sense, these paintings are naturalistic because the halos, wings, and faces of the angels are conveyed using biomorphic and organic shapes. Like in Van Doesburg's Study 2 for Composition, The Cow, Valdiva uses curved outlines in a shaded surface to make the form recognizable as that of an angel, making it fall on the naturalistic side of the spectrum. I chose to research Angelus Negros because I admire its simplistic aesthetic and the meaning behind the paintings. The color palette is neutral and simple, yet the contrast between the black angels and the white canvas is striking. My favorite thing about Angelus Negros is that the angels are shown from three different perspectives in three different compositions, yet they still sit beside each other beautifully. Being able to speak more with Sergio Valdiva and learn about the meaning behind the art that sits on my own shelves has made it mean so much more to me. Valdiva's art has forever changed my view of racism and underrepresentation not only within religious art but also within art in general and even the media.